Okay, so Becca and I just left um, the house and we're heading to Grayson Highlands State Park. Becca has been awesome hey. because I um, got home from work and she had the bags packed yes. and everything ready to go. She even laid out my outfit for me. She is amazing. <laughs> and so we um, left the house, said bye to mom and dad, and we're going to try to hike like a mile tonight. Oh, that sun's bright. Hike a mile tonight and set up camp, and then um, tomorrow do like 11 or 12, I think. Yeah. And so, yeah, it should be pretty fun, though. I'm looking forward to the journey. Yes, it's going to be a good journey. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little dark. We just got here to Grayson and got in the Backpackers Overnight parking lot, and now, yeah, got our packs on, <laughs> and now we're about to figure life out, so go find a place to camp. Okay, so Hannah's making dinner. She's making my favorite trail meal. And I'm setting up our tent. Okay, so Hannah, I really didn't want her to get cold, so we brought so many clothes. Yeah. She's on so many layers. I am a, a human blimp. <laughs> I could go in the sky. I have so many. I can't even begin to show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's and crazy. two pairs of pants, multiple socks. Yes. And I brought all of these hand warmers and foot warmers and body warmers. This is an idea courtesy of Pickles. So she started doing this somewhere in New Hampshire, I think, and it really helped keep us toasty at night. Gloves and a hat. Oh yeah, gloves and a hat. <laughs> I'm not getting start? cold tonight. <laughs> Getting all situated in our tent. We're back in the one man together. It'll be nice and snug. Okay, so Hannah and I just woke up. We were so warm last night. Didn't get cold at all. And check out our view this morning. Okay, so Hannah's so cute emerging from the tent. So what we're gonna do, we hiked in like half a mile and I'm gonna run her backpack back. This just has like her sleeping bag in it because it's such an old sleeping bag, it's not very compact. And then the sleep pad and then a few of our sweatshirts. That way we can- so sweet for doing that. Yeah, just so you know, she doesn't have to carry it and she can enjoy the hike more, but this view is just so beautiful. Okay, and also we got to hear coyotes last night while we were sleeping, so that was really exciting. Y'all, so exciting because I'm seeing our first white blaze. It feels so good to be back on the trail and have my backpack on again. Love it. We are at Wise Shelter, which we're having like a wonderful blast from the past because when we were here on the AT, we were hanging out underneath these trees over there and these really nice um, weekend hikers gave us a fuel canister, which we were in we desperate really need of. It. Yeah, we were like out and so that was really great. So this is a really fun um, moment. Yeah, Sorry. of reminiscing. Oh wow! Aww. This is so pretty. Y'all, Beatrice is just the cutest. So obsessed with having a corgi hike with us. Okay, so while we were at that last shelter, we were doing some trail confessions, and here are some of mine. Okay, so I was such a germaphobe the first, like, thousand miles of the AT that I would not wear loner clothes because I was concerned that hostels did not wash them often enough. Ridiculous. Yeah, which they say is ridiculous. So I would buy um, clothing in towns when I needed to do my laundry so that I didn't have to wear loner clothes, which by the end of the trail, that was not the case. I was literally, any loner clothes I was so grateful for. So that is one way the AT changed me. <laughs> wow. Davis brought his slack line, so this is pretty cool. real dog we've had since we've only had Maldivas. And it's honestly like, everybody loves it. Hannah spotted those horses all the way up there on that hill. I don't know how she has eyes that good. So I think we're about to loop all the way around there and then go visit those ponies. Baby ponies. They're so cute. 
I live for these kinds of moments on trail. Live for them. Hi. Wow. I'm out of tab, so I'm using the Aquamira um, <laughs> drop treatments, which I don't really like as much just because I think it's more work than the tabs. And I'll show you where I just got my water from. So there's water coming out of this pipe, and I'm definitely filtering because of all the horses that are around here. And there's a sign saying water not tested. <laughs> and for lunch, we're going to have um, vegan black bean and lime soup. And it's dried, so it's nice and light. And then we're also going to have the Annie's gluten-free cheddar cheese burritos. We just realized that I have melted the plastic fork into the food. Use this one. Oh no. It can't be melted. Okay, so we just took uh, the spur trail. Um, so we're off the AT and we're on the Pine Mountain Trail. And this is going to loop us back to a different part of the AT. And then we'll, so we'll end up finishing going north sound again. This is beautiful. Somewhere along the last while. Yeah, I mean, I had no beard when I started the project. So. <laughs> um, there is a guy, and I really want to start doing this. This is Mark. He and his um, entourage are out here hiking, and they just saved us because even though three of us are through hi former through hikers, sometimes you don't know exactly which trail to go on. So thank you for telling You're us welcome. the connecting trail. That looks so cool. So now we're back on the AT. Are we? We're going northbound. Yeah. So we're headed back northbound on the AT. Is going through this extremely optional but nonetheless rock squeeze. We thought it might be Fat Man's squeeze, but it's not. Oh, bonked my head. Yeah, so now just working my way through some briars. It is October 21st, I believe, and such a popular weekend to be in Grayson. A lot of hikers out here. Yeah, so right down there is where we saw all the ponies and got our epic pony footage. Wait, Hannah and I had a snack over there when we were through hiking. So this is, oh, it's just so cool to remember. Batman Squeeze! Ah! Remember going through this last time, Hannah? I do, I think. Batman Squeeze! So it's fun to be back here. I This is just like a trip from yesterday, so it's really neat. But Hannah videotaped me when I was going through Batman Squeeze last time, and it was a a cool day, it wasn't too hot, and yeah, it was just a lovely hike. Go. <laughs> the lengths we'll go to to get a good shot. Mm -hmm. So he climbed all the way up there Stay. to get an epic Stay. shot of us coming through Batman Squeeze. Yay, these are flip floppers, so they're getting close to the end. What are y'all's trail names? Cool, congrats guys. <laughs> Closing in on the home stretch. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet it was. This is y'all, just the most perfect camping spot. Come to Grayson Highlands 
and camp here. We are all super thirsty right now, so we're 0.2 miles from water and really excited to get there. But Hannah and I, we don't love the way the Aquamira tastes. It kind of has a funny um, aftertaste, during taste, before taste. It just all doesn't taste great. So I'm mostly just really ready to get back to the car and get real water. Once again, a lot of hikers out this weekend. It's great to see so many people out enjoying nature. I love it. Okay, so some thoughts I've had since being out here. I haven't been using trekking poles and it feels really like freeing and liberating. I like having my hands free. It's just, it's nice, makes it super easy to video and grab a snack, grab water. I just, I like the freedom it gives. My pack's nice and light without being loaded down with food or water. Um, so that's cool. I definitely have not been as hungry as I was on trail. So last night, Hannah and I couldn't finish a meal that I used to eat. On, eat on trail plus I would also eat several candy bars with it I couldn't even split it with handles and then um, another trail side thought I've had is oh it's kind of funny between me Dylan and Davis one of us is always working into a conversation when we stop and talk to other people that we've all three through hiked before <laughs> So it's amazing how much of your identity when you're on the trail comes from just like being a third hiker and we're still I guess trying to channel into that even though we're not through hiking we're through hikers so <laughs> so this is our water source it's just like this Riddle little puddle water. that those dogs just enjoy Solid drinking source. from so yeah this yeah. is the water this is a spring it's what it's listed can tell they're very afraid of humans. <laughs> Just terrified. Oh, oh mama, mama's getting curious now. We're headed back to the overnight backpacker camping parking lot thing. Yeah. Thing about our dream cars and my dream car is an old Jeep Grand Cherokee, preferably one from the 80s or 90s that has some rust on it and a lot of bumper stickers. And when I told my brother-in-law that, he told me that that is a dream car that I can have because it's affordable. Most people can't afford their dream cars, but I potentially could. Okay, so we just stopped at this like ice cream place and little gas station to get some waters and stuff. And Hannah dramatically says, oh my gosh, I will treat you to ice cream. And I said, Hannah, do you even have your wallet? And she said, no. Okay, so we are driving home. Actually, you do that, Hannah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we are driving home from our um, adventure. adventure in Grayson Highlands. And it was awesome. It was so much fun. Um, the weather was perfect. It was yeah. literally a beautiful day for hiking. Yeah. Yeah, it was so great. And <laughs> we, had a, we had a really great time. It was just a lot of fun. And I'm so sleepy right now. Yeah, we are tired. Afterwards, we um, stopped this little gas station and I got a root beer, which I never drink sodas, but after you hike a lot, I don't know, sometimes I just, just love, love the soda. Yeah, I just love that soda. And so Becca got me a root beer and it was delicious. And then I also got a milkshake and I was feeling like, wow, I probably need to go hike again, acting like I'm doing the a long trail or something <laughs> but and then Becca and I stopped at this cute little pizza place mm -hmm. what was the name of it like I don't know if I'm saying it right but it was C-I-R-O-S Zeros or Zero, I don't know Zyros. but it was really it was good pizza good. we got this white pizza um so yeah we we've, we've eaten good and we are tired ready to hit yeah, the bed so sleepy. but it was an awesome weekend yeah if you're Very around cool. Grayson Highlands you need to go yeah thank you so much for watching our journey guys we love y'all bye